Hello and good morning everybody and welcome to another before and after shaves um, video. Today I'm going to be doing a shave with the um, vintage um, surf group soap. If this autofocus would work. Yes, I'm going to be doing a shave with the um, it's a soap by Katie's Bubbles and it's made for the um, surf group which is single edge razor fans on Facebook. And um, this is what the label looks like. Sorry about this autofocus, everybody. <clears throat> but yeah, it's um, there's a special collaboration with the surf group from Kitty's Bubbles. So I'll be using that today. That's what it looks like on the inside. And I also have the matching uh, aftershave lotion to go with it. And I've only used a little bit. All right. And the razor I'll be using today is um, it's my Gem 1912 with a second use gem stainless blade. And let's see here. And this is what it looks like right here in this package. It has a little place to put your used blades when you're done. And the brush I'll be using today will be my Sterling Soap Company's synthetic 22 millimeter little brother. Yeah, I got this for Christmas from my big brother, so I find that it was pretty suiting. Um, but yeah, it's a 22 millimeter knot and a 51 millimeter loft, I believe. Okay. Okay, that's the brush or that's the brush box, and here's the brush right here. It's a nice little small brush from Sterling Soap Company. But yeah, for comparison purposes, let's put my atomic rocket next to it. See, that's how much bigger this brush is. It's about as long as the handle itself. Yeah, 22 against a 26. Okay, that's the brush I'll be using. I'm gonna put it in this um, red skull here to let it kind of soak for a moment. And get it prepared for the shave. All right, let's get this shave going. Um, I will put on a little pre-shave oil from uh, Razor MD. It's the Herbal Blend. I don't know if they make this one anymore. It comes in this has this little um, spout right here, so I'll just put on just a little bit here. Because this blade's probably gonna be a little bit aggressive today. <clears throat> Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to fix this autofocus on this camera, and I don't think there's really a way to uh, fix a video autofocus. I know for photos, I think there is a way, but for videos on these newer phones, they're kind of uh, there's kind of a no way to fix that. So I don't know. I'll have to find a program or something. So in the meantime, I do apologize about the autofocusing doing this. All right. Got the pre-shave on. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick here. Don't wanna have any slippage going on during the shave. Okay. Got that off, good enough. All right. Get the soap ready. Get it out. The, get the brush out of the water. I have enough in there. Okay. Let's go straight to the tub. And that's a good thing about these small brushes too, is that um you can go straight to the tubs and you don't have to worry about the brush filling up in your tub too much when you're trying to swirl. And it gives you a lot of room. To gather your soap. Okay. I'm assuming that's pretty good. Okay, there we go. About that much should do it. Okay. Got the soap on the brush and I'm gonna sort of wet the face a little bit here. Okay. Kind of give it a little bit of friction. Just a little bit. Since I already pre-shaved my face with some oil, or prepared with pre-shave, 
All right. Well, just a second here. And as I lather, I will kind of give you a brief description of the soap here. Okay. Yeah, it's the Vintage Luxury Cream Soap. It was a special creation originally created for the group of Surf on Facebook. It was a collaboration they went through. And um, said so the late 19th and 20th centuries were an amazing period of development of, of experimentation in the world of perfumery. New materials were being discovered and it led to a myriad of new scents that would, would be the created for the world to enjoy. I approached this time period with the benefits of modern ingredients and techniques to create vintage. As it says on the website here, um, the blend of light citrus and florals with the stout abodement of moss, musks, wood, and amber create a wonderful woody suede scent with a bit of sparkle. And the scent notes are um, citrus, geranium, palm rosa, oak moss, coumarin, musks, cedarwood, cade, and amber. And, um, and while the um, hold on a second here, and while the base notes of our products are vegetable based, the scent does not contain a, does contain a natural animal musk in the form of castorium. And the ingredients are stearic acid, water, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide fragrance, jojoba oil, sodium hydroxide, sodium lactate, and glycerin. And there are four ounce tubs. Okay. Luxury cream based soap. And you, and you could see earlier that I really needed to shave. Okay. Yeah, these little handles do come in handy sometimes. Okay. Has a good foamy slickness to it. You can see the whiskers popping through the soap. Okay. Yeah, it smells. It was really good, nice suede type of musk scent, as I had stated just a bit ago. Okay, got the lathering done. Let me rinse my hands off here. All right, and again, I hope everyone's having a great day, having great shaves, and staying safe. Okay, now let's get the Jim 1912 razor with the second use blade against the growth. All right, out of focus, behave now. Anything's going to plow through, I'm assuming, four days or more of growth. Probably about four. Just like it's cutting through butter. All right. All right. It's doing its job. You can always depend on these gems to do a good job. It require more rinsing since there's only one blade, one edge. Okay. So far, it's so good. It's really comfortable. You really don't feel the blade. It's got great feedback. The soap has great slickness and cushion. And this was my first Katie's Bubble soap, by the way. And I have nothing but good things to say about it. Like, yeah, I do know I'm late to the party with this one, but I kind of wanted to have a good time to do this one. Very comfortable. The sink's filling up with whiskers. <laughs> Is 
that really needed a shave and I was getting itchy. And I did plan on doing this yesterday, but things had kind of risen up a little bit, so I wanted to make sure I could focus on this. Okay. Gonna be going out to town in just a little bit. A friend and I are gonna go to a uh, pizza buffet up here called CC's Pizza. Mm. Haven't been back to a CC's in a few years, really. Mm. And the one we're going to just got done with its first week of reopening. I'm looking forward to seeing how that'll be. All right, first pass is awesome. Looks way better, much closer. Than it was before. Definitely cleaned up. That's for sure. But yeah, I took my shower last night and um, I shaved or washed my face today with my uh, cube and then I put on the pre shave oil during the video. Okay. Rinse my face off just a bit. I'll be right back for the second uh, pass here. Nice and squeaky clean. Hmm. I'll tell you though that. Oh, and um, that vintage is actually available for sale on the Katie's Bubbles website. If you're interested in checking it out, or if you're a fan of it, or haven't had a chance to get it yet. Mustache is a little bit messed up today, but that's all right. I'll fix it when I'm done here. All right. Time for the second pass. Look at this. But yeah, I've got to find a way to fix this autofocus. I can't be having a channel, and I'm gonna have if I'm gonna have autofocus issues keep happening like this. I may have to find another program to shoot the film. Let me add just a tad bit of water to that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just need a little bit of water. Mmm. Nice vintage shave of the day. with the smallest brush in the collection. Okay. Looking forward, looking, looking way forward to the Big Shave Southwest. Got less than a month left. See, today's the 1st of April, so we've got 26 days. 26 days until ShaveCon. All right. Getting more pumped up every day. All right, second pass. Likes to leave right marks sometimes. So far, the camera's not done too bad today. Oh, and uh, another thing I want to do is I'm um, wanting to kind of do a little more redecorating in the shave den. And I'm looking to find some kind of shelving I can put up here. Okay, yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find a shelving unit or some little shelves I can put up against the wall here. And I can see if I can, like, leave displays on the wall for the films or for the videos. Maybe put up, like, little arrangements of shaving products. There we go. Perhaps some um, little um, decorations, little, kind of leave a little theme of a vintage shave. Okay. I'll tell you, this leaves your skin feeling really good and soft. Oops. Then rearrange like some posters and or just however it'll work. 
however best way would be to work with that. And And again, the best way to ride these old um, SE razors, single edge razors, is to ride like the top cap. And that can be a learning curve for somebody that um, gets into um, single edge shaving. Especially if you're used to a double edge razor. Another successful shave, no cuts like last time or time before. It might have been last time. No cuts, no nicks. Good, decent prep. All right. Fix this one, the video's over. Okay. A little water on the face, get the remaining soap off. It was squeaky clean. So a pretty good DFS shave today. Okay. A little bit in the ears. Okay. All right, now, time for the post shave. I think I'll do a little bit of witch hazel today. A little lemon witch hazel today to start it. Kind of fit the citrus theme of the... Uh, Set notes. Mm. Mm. But yeah, then again, if you again, if you're really interested in checking out the vintage uh, surf soap set from Kitty's Bubbles, you can go to their website, and I'll leave a link in the description below, and y'all can go check it out. All right, let me uh, put this up. All right. All right, now, time for the aftershave. Vintage by Surf. Nice glass bottle, if you can hear that. Let's see. Text is pretty difficult to read on cam. Let's see. Yeah, the ingredients and everything's kind of bold. And very blurry. Okay. Shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> All right. See that spout right there? You gotta be very careful when you pour it into your hands. So just a little palm full here. Rub it in before it spills. And there you go. Mm. Oh yeah. Excellent scent. Good old time smell. Use the remaining on the arms, on the neck. And there we have it. Let's do a recap, shall we? I used a Gem 1912 razor, three piece, second use Gem stainless blade. I used the vintage Surf soap from Katie's Bubbles which is still available on their website, so go check out katiesbubbles.com. The Little Brother um, Shaving Brush from Sterling, 22 millimeter, and I believe a 55 mil loft, or 51 millimeter loft shaving brush. All right. My pre-shave was the um, Razor MD's Herbal Blend, so that was the first thing I did. Yeah, the gem blades that I used. And the witch hazel I used was my lemon witch hazel from Thayer's. Well, there we have it, folks. Another successful shave down. 
and many more to come. So just stay tuned, and I appreciate all you for watching and liking and subscribing, and hope to see you all again very soon. You all have a great day, and bye-bye for now.